the Snickers back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. We're back with Bionic Pup 64 bit. Okay. Now you've got your new pup installed and you're ready to go because you've seen my last video and you think, I'm going to give Puppy a go as I've got much else to do at home. And so you do. As I've shown you in the previous video, there's some things you need to do. I'm going to go over one now. I'm going to do it one more time for you. Okay. Just one more time. Keep on top of these, the Bionic, Bionic Pup updates. Even if you do it only once every couple of weeks, there may be a file and there may not be a file, okay? But just by doing it, doesn't hurt anything whatsoever. Especially if it's an older machine and you've got a nice little big terabyte hard drive. So it's the same ones as the other day. Oh, Steam, that fixed. Super duper. So we'll click OK. That's that bad away. But changing kernels on a fully installed system is a bit problematic. So I'm not going to go through that with you today. It is possible. I'm going to reiterate that possible but normally nah mate normally no mate for the average user nah okay this is one of the main things you want to do you can either go to your menu and do it this way so we go to system or is it desktop I don't know or setup setup is the one we want to go to we can go to a puppy package menu this way or go to the install icon on the desktop and do it that way but we're going to do it this way so we're going to go straight to the package manager and we want to click on the toolbox right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it into the screen for you so you can see properly. We'll click on there. Now, as you can see, the ones I've got tick, ticked are the Bionic Universe, Bionic Multiverse, Bionic Main, and Puppy No Arch. Okay. They're the main ones you want, really. You can add a new repo if you want to. I wouldn't really bother at this moment. But if you're going to be off another four weeks, you might want to do that. Who knows? Who knows? We want to update our database, otherwise you're not going to have the current software there. It's going to be quite behind, or it won't be there at all. So if we click Update Database, but bear in mind if you've got an older system, this could take a little while. And if you've got bad internet, even longer. But we're going to update now. You just click on there and let it go through all the updates it needs to do. This used to be a longer process, but they've made it quite a bit quicker. Okay, You don't have to keep clicking all the time it goes through each repository. So while we're doing that, we a little bit of drinkage, and this is a um, plunged orange pale ale because it's bank holiday. Okay. Mm. A couple of errors there, but I don't think they're really going to bother us too much. It was successfully updated, so we click OK. It'll come back. And we're OK that. It'll go away and come back. And now you should have the latest and greatest in the package manager. Now remember, because Puppy is compatible with um, Ubuntu 18.04, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can install a lot of the packages as I've said before on many a time. Okay. So, another thing I'm going to show you is if you need to work from home and you need Teams or you like Microsoft Teams, yeah, I know I said the word Microsoft Teams or you need Zoom, they are available. If I go to my menu and I go to Internet or is it under Network, it'll be under Network. So I have Microsoft Teams here and I have Zoom here. They're all here for you. Now, as you can see, if you go back to Quip one more time, and I'll show you what I mean, and we go to Office, Zoom is here. And if you click there, it will download it for you, and it does work. Okay. But, I say to you, if we go to Files, and I think it's under Spot, and we go to Downloads, the dev files are already there for you. Yeah. So you just click on them, and they're installed. So they're already there for you. So no need to worry. And it does work. Although Microsoft Teams is a bit of a pain because it automatically starts every time you start the machine. You can change that in the settings, by the way. You don't have to do anything else. As for the little glitch we had with uh, LibreOffice, that's all fixed now. So I've to calc now. Bish bosh. The screen resolution for the app wasn't set correctly. That's all it was. It was all stuck in that little tiny corner at the end there. That's all it was. So that was sorted. Remember, if you go to your... If I'll show you here. Your... Desk Manager, and we just wait for them to boot up, and we go to Default Apps, and go, click on Plus. You can change the default app for everything you want to click on, Yeah, every one. So the more you download, the more you can have. Easy peasy. Simple, that, isn't it, really? Yeah. Another thing I want to show you is, if I go back to the menu, and it should be under Setup. If you go here, and you want to put Puppy on a stick, from within Puppy, it's called Stick Pup, and it puts the files in a FAT32 folder on a USB stick for you. 
bearing in mind it will wipe the drive completely and utterly okay completely and utterly so make sure there's nothing on there that you want to use if i click here it will say there's no usb it's found so it's not going to work but yeah it does work i tried it earlier but it's just like i don't know if you've seen me and steve do it before many many moons ago a couple of years ago you can just transfer the files over manually if you wanted to there's no big deal it's just an easy way to do it but if you're a new user they've made it easier for you to do it okay that's from last night again or the last video <clears throat> remember we're keeping puppy nice and tidy and clean because he's nice and new but he's a bit wet behind the ears isn't he so if you click on file if you go up a directory you will find user and then you will find share and then you will find backgrounds and that is where i've put all my backgrounds okay so i've, I've downloaded a few as you can see here i've got a conky i like that's pretty cool i like it i've added quite a few new programs as well so if i go down to menu and we'll see what i mean i'm going to multimedia these are for me be different for you okay vlc i've installed manually okay came live manually audacity manually you can hear that word quite a few times mix manually yeah spotify i've already shown that to you and i've done to show again if you don't like xf burn you can get another one but it does exactly the same thing as all the others bear in mind i'm using a simple screen recorder here and it's using under a gig to record the screen so even if you've got an older machine with two gig you can do it but as soon as you start the browser up it's gonna do stuff okay so if i click on my browser which now open up chrome remember if you don't like chrome install a browser you do like you know don't kill the messenger as they say so everything can be done from here you can even access zoom and teams from here as well by the way if you didn't want to access it from the main menu okay so that's how to keep your old puppy a bit cleany and tidy the next video on puppy was requested by ex mr ghosty as we said he wanted to know how to install it on bare metal from bare metal so the next one from this one is going to be install it on bare metal while we're on bare metal and i'll show you how easy it is to do and we'll record the whole process for you okay hope you like that one keep safe don't go out stay in your garden or on your balcony or hang your head out the window for a bit of fresh air good luck everybody see you next time sneaky linux out that's it bye bye